What's propelling the growing trend of black women leaving the United States? Welcome to this journey of discovery where we will explore the concept of the Great Blacksit, a phenomenon witnessing a steady rise in black expatriates seeking a life beyond the borders of America. In this digital age, online communities have become vital support networks, guiding and encouraging individuals through significant life changes. Take Blacksit Tribe, for instance, a bustling Facebook group witnessing rapid growth, with members sharing their experiences and aspirations about leaving the U.S. If we rewind to the aftermath of the 2016 elections, we find a noticeable uptick in the number of Americans, especially those from marginalized communities, considering relocation. For black women, this decision is often influenced by a multitude of factors, some deeply personal and others broadly systemic. So, what is fueling this mass exodus? Let's delve deeper. What's the American reality for black women? Let's dive in. In the land of opportunity, the American dream promises that anyone can achieve success through hard work and determination. But for black women, this dream often seems more like an elusive illusion. The socioeconomic challenges they face are real and deeply entrenched. Take poverty, for instance. In 2020, around 22% of the 21.4 million American women living in poverty were black. That's a staggering number, and it tells us something crucial, that the American dream isn't equally accessible to everyone. And this isn't just about finances, it's about mental health too. Kenya Crawford, a licensed therapist and consultant on racial equity, LGBTQ folk and mental health, says, travel can be a pivotal part of managing anyone's mental health. But she also underscores that travel, which can offer a much needed break from routine and stress, is often positioned as a luxury. For many black women struggling to survive in a society that's capitalistic, racist, and misogynistic, this luxury remains out of reach. The reality is that the American dream, in its current form, is not designed to cater to the needs of black women. It's a system that's built on white supremacy, which devalues anything and anyone who doesn't strive to assimilate. This expectation, this pressure to conform, has created a toxic environment that's not only difficult to navigate, but also nearly impossible to thrive in. So where does this leave black women? They're stuck in a paradox where they're expected to chase a dream that's systematically designed to exclude them. And the consequences? They're dire, affecting not just their economic stability, but also their physical and mental well-being. As we see, the American dream often presents as a nightmare for black women. How does living outside the US impact black women's mental health? Imagine this, you're in Southern Europe, where the pace of life is not dictated by the ticking clock, but by the rhythm of the heart. The air is filled with the scent of freshly brewed coffee, and the streets echo with the chatter of friends and co-workers, unhurried, savoring their lunch breaks. On Sundays, the shops are closed, and the day is yours to reclaim. Even your morning commute feels different. When you greet the bus driver, you're met with an immediate smile and a warm, good morning in return. This is not a dream. This was my reality when I spent two weeks outside the US, and it was a soothing balm for my anxiety-laden soul. The laid-back vibe of Southern Europe was a stark contrast to the high-stress capitalistic culture I was used to back home. But why does this matter? Why should the pace of life in a different land affect a black woman's mental health? To answer that, let's lean on the words of Kenya Crawford, a licensed therapist and consultant on racial equity, LGBTQ folk, and mental health. She says, American culture is built on white supremacy that aims to devalue the livelihood of anything and anyone who does not strive to assimilate. This expectation has led to a toxic environment that can be nearly impossible to survive. So, the question begs, is the grass truly greener on the other side? Yes, white supremacy is not a uniquely American problem. Its roots can be traced back to the European colonization of lands belonging to black and brown people. Yet the stress of living under its weight in the U.S. is shortening a black woman's life expectancy by three years. Is the solution then to pack our bags and seek refuge in other lands? Can we escape the toxicity of our home soil by putting oceans between us and it? The answer is not that simple, and the decision is deeply personal. But what we can say is this. There's a whole world out there, offering different cultures, different paces, and different perspectives. So is the grass truly greener on the other side? Let's find out. How does the American healthcare system treat its black women patients? It's a question that echoes hauntingly in the halls of hospitals and clinics across the United States. Far too often, 
the medical treatment of black women is marred by dehumanization and neglect. Imagine going to a doctor for help, only to be met with dismissive attitudes and a cold, clinical approach that feels more like punishment than healing. This isn't a rare occurrence, but a systemic issue. The American healthcare system, it appears, is more focused on numbing pain through medication, rather than addressing the root causes of emotional distress. This over-reliance on pharmaceuticals, instead of providing comprehensive care, is both damaging and disheartening. The healthcare system's failure to adequately address the needs of black women is a stark reflection of the broader societal issues they face. These women are not merely seeking relief from physical ailments, but from the overwhelming stress and anxiety that stems from living in a society that consistently undervalues them. In the face of such treatment, the desire to leave isn't surprising, is it? So, what's the way forward for black women seeking a better life? Enter the Exodus Summit. This premier virtual conference is the beacon of hope for black women with dreams of an expat life, a sabbatical, or a nomadic existence beyond the borders of the United States. Guided by the expertise of Rashida Dow, a career break expert, and Stephanie Perry, a seasoned year-round house sitter, this summit serves as a life-changing platform. It provides practical tools, resources, and a supportive community, empowering thousands of black women to break free from toxic jobs, sell their homes, and wave goodbye to a life that no longer serves them. The Exodus Summit doesn't just offer a ticket out, but also a roadmap to a new destination. It's more than just a conference. It's a lifeline, a testament to the resilience and determination of black women. As we've seen, the Great Black Sit is not just a trend, but a powerful movement for change.